Sometimes I get enough of having to listen to Nathan Oakley, Quantum Eraser, Which It Gets It, Tenth Man and the like in order to make my videos. So I decided to look at Quantum Eraser's website, globeterminator.com. I saw the same old nonsense there in the childish layout with the silly emojis and the stupid pubescent insults, but at least I wouldn't have to listen to the irritating voice of this self-proclaimed genius. He posted seven of what he calls his flat earth proofs. In a series of seven videos I will pulverize each and every one of them. This is part three, flight. In this flat earth proof, Quantum Eraser demonstrates rather convincingly not only that he doesn't understand the basics of the globe model, but first and foremost that he doesn't understand basic mathematics. First, he starts with this gem. Since the Earth is, as we are told, a sphere 25,000 miles in circumference, radius 3,959 miles, then pilots traveling for one hour at a typical cruising speed of 500 miles per hour to simply maintain altitude would constantly have to adjust their altitude downwards to compensate for the curvature and descend on average 2789 feet per minute. Th this is a common misunderstanding by flurfers that you have to fly nose down in order to not fly straight into space. Airplanes keep airborne because they maintain an equilibrium between thrust, lift, drag and weight. The lift is created by the forward motion and the special shape of the wings, producing a pressure differential between the air flowing over the top of the wing and that flowing under the bottom, resulting in an upward force. Since there also is a continuous drop in atmospheric pressure, the higher you go, the less lift can be produced at a constant airspeed. An aircraft flies at a constant pressure altitude and thus maintains the same relative distance from sea level at all times. If it would gain altitude by what Fleur was supposed to be flying straight, it would get into an ever thinner atmosphere and at a constant speed would lose lift. The airplane doesn't have to descend or fly nose down. It stays at the same altitude. But it gets a lot worse when Quantum Eraser tries to calculate this supposed rate of descent. First, he calculates the amount that an airplane has to drop in order to maintain the same altitude on a sphere with a circumference of 25,000 miles over a distance of 500 miles with a speed of 500 miles per hour. The 8 inch per mile squared formula says that it is 31.7 miles or 167,376 feet. Then he divides that number by 60 minutes and states so the plane has to drop vertically 2,789.6 feet per minute. And it gets even worse. He calculates the vertical drop for a 2 hour flight at 500 miles per hour to be 5645 feet per minute. He just writes it down as if it's the most normal thing in the world that when you fly for 2 hours your rate of descent will be more than twice as high as when you fly only 1 hour. And he doesn't see the ridiculousness of this statement. It would mean that when you start flying during the first hour you have to drop vertically at a rate of 2789 feet per minute, a rate of descent that after one hour you have to jack up to 5645 feet per minute. And what about when you fly only one minute? The vertical drop over a distance of 8.33 miles would be 46.29 feet per minute or only one second, it would be 0.0125 feet per second. Of course in reality this is not the way to calculate the drop per unit of time. A plane follows a constant curve around the globe. 
it doesn't know how long it has flown, nor how long it still has to fly. It just starts all over again after every second it has flown. But at the end of the day, all of this is based on a misunderstanding. The airplane doesn't have to descend at all. After his usual modus tollens nonsense, he ends with Alice in Wonderland is more tenable than the Baltard spinning space monkey religion. The prosecution rests. Simple. You live in a fairy tale. The end. How stupid can anyone be? Oh well, it's just Quantum Eraser, who definitely has deserved his nickname. Questionable education. <laughs>